Welcome to the 2022 Employee of the Year recognitions. We're so glad to be back with you this year. Last year we missed because of COVID. This year we're still doing it virtually, but we thought it was too important and our people are doing too much good work to miss it more than one year. So we are ecstatic to be here with you from people all over the United States on YouTube who can watch your relatives, people who can be at home and see it. And we thank you so much for being here with us to celebrate the best of the best in Clayton County. Tonight, we're going to celebrate the Teacher of the Year for the district, as well as the teachers that represent Teachers of the Year from each one of our schools. We're going to celebrate the principals of the year who were nominated by their colleagues. We're going to celebrate the support professionals of the year, both classified and certified, because we know it, makes, it takes both classified and certified persons to make this district work. And we're going to celebrate our support leaders of the year, our certified leader this year. And this is going to be an exciting time for them, and we want you to join in and celebrate the greatness of these people and all they have done, all the resilience that they have brought forth throughout this year to keep things going, to keep us operating at a, at a high level. And we thank you so much, Clayton County community, Clayton County staff, and all of our stakeholders for being a part of that success because it all makes a difference with our children and in the operation of our district. So ladies and gentlemen, as I welcome you to our Evening with the Stars, I would like to present to you at this time Dr. Avery Kinley, our Coordinating Supervisor for Professional Learning, and Mrs. Melissa sloan Idens our coordinating supervisor for professional learning, who will introduce to you at this time our host. And welcome back. With resilience, we can do anything, and we will continue throughout this year. Thank you so much for being here with us. Good evening. Tonight's host for the evening are television and radio personality, Ms. Monica Pearson and Dr. Ralph Simpson, Deputy Superintendent of School Leadership and Improvement. Monica Kaufman Pearson is a former television anchor and reporter in Atlanta who worked 37 years for the top TV station, WSB. She's won 33 local and regional Emmys for her reporting, anchoring, and close-up specials. Since her retirement, she has hosted a radio show for KISS 104.1, done radio commercials for several companies, served as one of three co-hosts for the Georgia Public Broadcasting Show, A Seat at the Table, and now will be hosting a monthly personality interview show, Monica Pearson, one-on-one -on, -one on WPCH TV Channel 17, starting February 27th at 8 p.m. She has a bachelor's degree from the University of Louisville and a master's degree from the University of Georgia. She is married to John E. Pearson Sr. and is a mother to a daughter and son. Dr. Ralph Simpson was appointed Deputy Superintendent for the Division of School Leadership and Improvement in late July 2017 and comes with over 20 years of experience in education. In an effort to empower leaders to maximize their full potential, Dr. Simpson strives to inspire, encourage, and motivate leaders at all levels. Dr. Simpson consistently provides school and district leaders with a quote of the day that compels leaders to self-reflect and commit to higher standards. One recent quote of the day states, your commitment to getting better needs to be more important than your commitment to getting better scores. Additionally, Dr. Simpson has been entrusted with consolidating the Division of School Leadership and Improvement with the Division of Curriculum Instruction and Assessment to form a cohesive unit to fulfill the superintendent's vision of Clayton County Schools as a high-performance school district. Dr. Simpson is a proponent of restorative practices 
in education and brings with him a wealth of knowledge. His goal is to align resources to address the social, emotional, and intellectual needs of learners, which will in turn produce students who are globally competitive and college and career ready. Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen Ms. Monica, Monica Pearson, Pearson and, and Dr. Dr. Ralph, Ralph Simpson. Simpson. Good evening, everyone. I'm Monica Pearson. And I am Dr. Ralph Simpson. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Clayton, Clayton County, County Public, Public Schools, Schools Employee of the Year Celebration. Celebration. We are here tonight to recognize the contributions of Clayton County educators and support staff. Clayton County has a long and proud educational tradition in the state of Georgia. Every year, thousands of graduates go out into the world, carrying the inspiration they have gained from great teachers and support staff in our school district. Tonight, we say thank you to all those who have made a difference in so many lives. The support of our stakeholders is critical to the success of our district. This year, we would like to recognize and thank the individuals who had the awesome responsibility of selecting the Clayton County Employees of the Year, our judges, for the Teacher of the Year, our judges are Ben Harris, Tony Phillips, and Paul Scott. For the Principal of the Year, Solicitor General Charles Brooks, Dr. Kimberly Duggar, Commissioner Felicia Franklin, Dr. Chantal Normil, Dr. Sam West, and Dr. Terry Young served as judges. Our Support Leaders of the Year were judged by Shakira Cheney, Christy Heath, Damaris Garrett, Katrina Thompson, Felicia Brown, and Ave Tatum. Our judges for support professionals of the year were Nicole Tubner, Huey Galbraith, Tamika Hobson, Nicole Uda, Vivian McCullough, Artavia Spriggs, Marcus Holston, Alan Hosley, Trey Bolger, Jamal Jenkins, Suzette Smith. We're fortunate to have many outstanding staff members currently serving in Clayton County Public Schools and central offices. As Dr. Duncan mentioned, the past two years have demonstrated the fact that our employees possess a very high level of resilience. Time simply will not permit us to honor every individual in the district who has personally displayed excellence during this unprecedented time. Please know that you are all appreciated for the compassion and dedication you have shown. Dr. Simpson, that is so very true. We have witnessed so many examples of the flexibility and creativity of CCPS educators and employees over the past months as they continued the business of educating and caring for our students. I wish we had the time to recognize each one by name in addition to our honorees. Speaking of tonight's honorees, it is important to note that many factors are considered in the selection process, among them excellence in job performance, innovation in and out of the classroom, exemplary character, and of course, a love of children and young people. It is our privilege now to introduce to you an outstanding Clayton County staff members. As we call their names, they will be featured on your screen. Every nominee will receive a gift bag and engraved plaque. We will start with nominees for Teacher of the Year. From Seven Pillars Career Academy, Davina Harecrow. From Adamson Middle School, Jason Riley. From the Alternative Virtual Academy High School, Shamira Bailey. From Anderson Elementary School, Sarah Hall. From Arnold Elementary School, Adrienne Mulkey. From Bab Middle School, Catherine Ornelas Nieto. From Brown Elementary School, Johnetta Dotson. From Callaway Elementary, Mia Searcy. From Church Street Elementary School, Tori Holloway. From East Clayton Elementary School, Kimberly Dawson. From Eddie White Middle Academy, Vestina Stokes. From Edmonds Elementary, Mary Cox. From Forest Park High School, Vicki Shorts. From Forest Park Middle School, 
Denicia Gordon. From Fountain Elementary School, Latoya Samuel. From Harper Elementary School, Jasmine Robinson. From Haney Elementary School, Shavonda Thomas. From Huey Elementary School, Quintica Fleming. From Jackson Elementary School, Brittany Alexander. From Jonesboro High School, Deborah Wiggins. From Kemp Elementary School, Shannon Ladson. From Kemp Primary School, Mary Bedford. From Kendrick Middle School, Shakari Gilbert. From Kilpatrick Elementary School, Neombe George. From King Elementary School, Devana Wright. From Lake City Elementary School, Kenneth Ware. From Lake Ridge Elementary School, Tierra Ford Halsia. From Lee Street Elementary School, Jessica Hall. From Lovejoy High School, Carlene Murray. From Lovejoy Middle School, Aviance Welch. From M.D. Roberts Middle School, Morvette Pritchard. From Martha Ellen Stillwell School of the Arts, Tina Connor. From Marshall Elementary School, Pamela Booker. From McGarra Elementary School, Chandra Hurdle. From Michelle Obama STEM Academy, Charmaine Daniel. From Morrow Elementary School, Lorraine King. From Morrow Middle School, Danielle Perkins. Mount Zion Elementary School, Krishana Marshall. From Mount Zion High School, Joshua White. From Mount Zion Primary School, Marilyn Usher. Ms. Usher is being awarded this honor posthumously as she passed from us early in the school year. Her principal, Ms. Anika Bryant, is joining us to make a few remarks about Ms. Usher. It is an honor to celebrate the life for Mrs. Marilyn Sharice Usher, who went to be with her savior on September 12, 2021. The Mount Zion Primary family and Clayton County Public Schools communities loves you and misses you dearly, Mrs. Usher. You will remain forever in our hearts. Your works with our children will last in our memories forever. From Monday's Mill High School, Clara Clark. From Monday's Mill Middle School, Aisha Rector. From North Clayton High School, Latonya Wright. From North Clayton Middle School, Ashley Curtis. From Northcutt Elementary School, Judith Arnold. From Pace Academy, Kimberly Presley. From Perry Career Academy, Byron Brown. From Point South Elementary School, Nisi Hines. From Point South Middle School, Sharika Keith Dixon. From Rex Mill Middle STEM School, Lisa Martinez Vargas. From Rivers Edge Elementary School, Yvonne Hudgens. From Riverdale Elementary School, Lovely Manning. From Riverdale High School, Cedric Thomas. From Riverdale Middle School, Grenetta Foreman. From Sequoia Middle School, Audrey Toe. From Smith Elementary School, Carla Coleman. From Souter Elementary School, Kadira Dabney. From Swint Elementary School, Vanessa Lynch. 
From Tara Elementary School, Dewan Winfield. From Unidos Dual Language School, Elie Marie Colon Rivera. From Utopia Academy for the Arts Elementary School, Camille Neely. From West Clayton Elementary School, Michelle Calbert. We will now move into our finalists in all of the categories. All finalists will receive an additional engraved plaque commemorating this honor. First category of the finalists is the Support Professionals of the Year. There are two finalists in two different categories, Certified and Classified. The finalists for Classified Support Professionals of the Year are from the Technology Department, Eric Moeller, from North Clayton Middle School, Stacy Nelson. The finalists for Certified Support Professional of the Year are from Mount Zion High School, Bernadette Dare, from Ash Street Center, Carolyn Marshall. The next category of finalists is the Support Leader of the Year. There are two finalists in this category. The finalists for Support Leader of the Year are from the Department of Curriculum, Instruction and Assessment, Janetta Greenwood. From Forest Park Middle School, Malika Wright. The next category is the Principal of the Year. The finalists for the Principal of the Year are from Bab Middle School, Brenda Ross Wilson. From Terra Elementary School, Dr. Wakia Brown. The next five individuals are the finalists for the Teacher of the Year. These five finalists were selected by a panel from 68 candidates and then interviewed and observed by our judges. They are from Drew High School, Stephen Robinson. From Elite Scholars Academy, Rashandra Hutchins Trapp. From Hawthorne Elementary School, Deborah Davis. From Morrow High School, Jennifer Henley. From Oliver Elementary School, Harold Russell. Finally, tonight's winners in each category are 2022 Classified Support Professional of the Year, Sabrina Stewart from Lovejoy High School. 2022 Certified Support Professional of the Year, Clarice Frazier from Drew High School. 2022 Certified Support Leader of the Year, Regina Wallace from the Department of Curriculum, Instruction and Assessment. Our 2022 Principal of the Year, Jamila Hud-Kirk from Fountain Elementary School. Finally, our 2022 Teacher of the Year, Sharika Reddick from Jonesboro Middle School. We congratulate this stellar group of employees. We are honored to have special remarks tonight made by our superintendent, Dr. Morsese J. Beasley. Dr. Beasley currently serves as superintendent of Clayton County Public Schools. Prior to being selected superintendent, he served as CCPS Chief School Improvement Officer. Dr. Beasley has over 20 years of dedicated service toward instructional practices and has held numerous leadership positions in public education. He is known as an innovative leader with an exceptional ability to transform both large urban and suburban school districts. Dr. Beasley is also recognized for his impeccable ability to improve student achievement, strengthen community engagement, as well as develop and implement sustainable strategies for a school system. Dr. Beasley is a recipient of notable accolades and multiple recognitions by numerous organizations. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Mathematics from the University of Montevallo, a Master of Science degree in Mathematics Education from Samford University, and an Educational Specialist as well as a Doctorate degree in Education with an emphasis on Educational Leadership from Samford University. Dr. Beasley has also completed Harvard University's Public Educational Leadership in addition to dedicating much of his life as a professional educator, Dr. Beasley enjoys recreational time with his wife and four children. He is also described as a mentor, author, traveler, and strong supporter of the arts. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I present to you Dr. Morsi J. Beasley. Well, thank you, Dr. Simpson and Ms. Pearson for tossing it over to me. I am so excited as the superintendent of Clayton County Public Schools to first just acknowledge and greet and show my sincere appreciation to all of you, all of our employees of the year right here in Clayton County. I know that you really want to have this event face to face and it's just a matter of time before we're back hosting this event face to face. But until then, I want you to have no shortage in feeling good about who you are and what you do for the children in this school system. So I'd like to just share that over the last few years, all of you, all of you have gone beyond the call of duty to ensure that our students learn, they're supported, they're loved upon, they're encouraged. You clearly have made the difference at your school, in the various departments, in the lives of our children. Your colleagues believe you've made the difference, and that's why you are being celebrated today. You've demonstrated resilience. You've demonstrated a, a care and a concern for others beyond yourself. You've shown our students, you've shown your colleagues what it means to go not just that extra mile, but that extra 10 miles or 20 miles. You have demonstrated what it means to be an excellent professional, someone who cares about our children, someone who values their role and who understands what it means to impact a life for all eternity. I'd like to commend all of you and say from my heart to yours, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for hanging in here with us in Clayton County Public Schools. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your time, your talents, your expertise. Thank you for your experiences. Thank you for being patient with us. Thank you for you being right here in Clayton County in the midst of a global pandemic. Thank you for taking time every day to smile at a child, to encourage a child, to tell them how well they're doing, or to tell them it's going to be okay. Thank you for spending time pausing to encourage your colleagues, sharing your ideas, sharing feedback. Thank you for just making a difference in the lives of so many people. You know, we're living in a time now where it appears that selfishness seems to be ruling. Selfishness is ruling as we look at what's happening at the international level with our politics and Russia and Ukraine and uh, NATO, as we look at what's happening at our federal level with the division in our Democrats and Republicans and independents and all the drama going on as we look at what's happening in our state with new bills coming on the horizon, each party vying for power and redistricting and oh, just a lot, of go a lot going on and a lot of people are concerned about themselves and their power and their position. But you are the example, all of you are the example of what it means to not be concerned about oneself, but to do right and be concerned about others. I commend you and I thank you, I applaud you for being the examples that we need to see in the time that we're in. So as I close with my comments, please know that you have been an example. We need you to continue to be that example we celebrate you, we honor you, we thank you for being those shining stars, those exemplars, those examples that we need, that we look up to, to help guide us through the night that we're living through. And we are living through the night, 
But as we look up at night and we see the stars and we can use the stars to help us navigate to get to our next de or desired destination, so we're looking at you to navigate this darkness to help us get to a better place as a world, as a nation, as a state, and as a school district. Again, thank you for being the lights in the darkness. And I pray and hope that your light will just continue to burst forth even as the morning sun and that people and others will recognize who you are, what you've done, and the example that you provide as we pursue high performance in this school system. Take care and congratulations again. Thank you. Celebrate your accomplishment. We honor you. Thank you, Dr. Beasley, for your inspiring words. The district truly appreciates your leadership. We will now hear from the winners of the 2022 awards and their supervisors. Ladies and gentlemen, the employees of the year. My name is Rodney Jordan. I am the proud principal of Lovejoy High School, and I have the distinct pleasure of working with our employee support person of the year, Miss Sabrina Stewart. Uh, this is my first semester at Lovejoy, and it has been a pleasure uh, to work with somebody so dedicated and committed to the outcomes that we desire to have for our students. In our line of work in education, uh, for some people, it's a job to pay the bills. To others, it's a calling. And I believe that Miss Stewart is one of those people. Uh, she gives our students the love and the care that every parent will want for their student. Uh, in our field of education, we have the unfortunate circumstance in many instances of having children that are a part of very negative circumstances, uh, whether it be socioeconomic, whether it be a homeless student, uh, whether it be a student that's being frustrated by their academics because of a, maybe a particular disability. Uh, Miss Stewart really does an awesome job job with taking students under her wing and just giving them hope, uh, making them feel like they can do it, that they can achieve, and making them know and understand that there is somebody that loves them no matter what circumstance that they come from. Uh, schools would be a thousand times better if everybody had a Miss Sabrina Stewart. And so I'm so proud uh, to be a part of the Lovejoy uh, team to be able to work with her on a daily basis. Go Miss Stewart. My name is Sabrina Stewart and I'm honored to be the recipient of the Clayton County Support Professional of the School Year. I bring you greetings from the land of love and joy, Love Joy High School, where I am the Student Engagement Specialist. To my principal, Mr. Rodney Jordan, administrative team, faculty and staff, I am so thankful to God for his continued faithfulness to me. To my son, Dylan Rogers, my mother, Carolyn Bell, and family who are my biggest supporters. Thank you to Dr. Heath who nominated me for this great honor. Last but not least, I would like to thank Dr. Beasley and the Board of Education. Thank you for this great honor. Thank you. Hello, I am Stephanie Trice, the proud principal of Charles Drew High School. When I think of this person, I think of someone who is not only competent, but someone who's on a relentless quest to improve student outcomes. In and out of school, she consistently works to improve herself and the lives of those around her. She's a hard worker in everything she does. In fact, some might call her a warrior. She's a loving mother, a loyal daughter, a supportive sister, an amazing coach, a great friend, and a blessing to our school community who is completely dedicated to the success of our students and teachers. On behalf of the Charles Drew High School family, I'm elated to introduce to some and present to others the hardest working academic coach in the land, hailing from the great state of Louisiana, Ms. Clarice Frazier, your Clayton County Public School Support Professional of the Year. My name is Clarice Frazier. I am the academic coach at Charles R. Drew High School, and I am excited to represent Clayton County Public Schools this year as one of the employees of the year. I want to thank our amazing leadership for taking the time to recognize support staff. I want to thank my principal, Ms. Stephanie Trice, for allowing me to grow 
as a leader and allowing me to serve our community, our school, and our students. I want to thank my entire family and friends who have supported me as a teacher throughout the years. Never really thought I'd be an educator, but here I am 20 years later still supporting and believing in the importance of education and learning. I want to thank my daughter. My daughter has celebrated me. My daughter has shared me selflessly with thousands of kids at this point, and she has always reminded me that there are teachers out there that care, and I needed to be one of them. Moving forward, I look forward to continuing to serve Clayton County Public Schools every day. I look forward to us growing as a district, and I am completely honored to serve in this capacity. Thank you, everyone, for the opportunity. Good evening. My name is Christy Heath, the Director of Advanced Learning and Intervention. I am so excited to introduce the Certified Support Leader of the Year, Regina Wallace. Regina exemplifies innovation. During her time as the K-12 Social Studies Coordinator, she has moved our district into the limelight and pushed us to redefine how we think through critical situations. Through her efforts with fall and spring voter registration, Clayton County Public Schools was placed center stage when CNN and other nationwide networks were reporting on the presidential election. It mattered what Clayton County voters were doing and our students were part of this process. Regina wants every student to have the opportunity to engage in civic matters and become part of the solution for our future. Regina and her team were innovators in bringing document-based questioning, or DBQs, into the classroom. Clayton County began to use these interactive lessons before most other counties in the state even thought about them. It is with great honor that I get to introduce her as her supervisor, but also as her friend. Good evening, I'm Ms. Regina Wallace, K-12 Social Studies Coordinator for Clayton County Public Schools. You know, 2020 taught us that you can't ignore social studies, you couldn't deny it. It was the year of, I need to do the census, but what does the census truly do? Don't forget to vote, but does voter suppression still exist? Black Lives Matter, but is systematic racism a buzzword or is it really a thing? And don't forget, we need to protect our democracy because it taught us that we can have our democracy taken from us if we don't protect it. I love my content because it's the content that requires students to be historically conscious. It requires them to take informed action and be culturally aware, financially literate, and civically engaged. And with that, I just want to thank everyone for this award, but I must give it right back to the teachers that I started my educational journey with that became family, my former students who have my entire heart, my CIA team, the CCPS teachers and leaders in the district for believing in my vision. I want to give it back to my social studies squadron, curriculum writing team, my lead teachers, Ms. Love and Ms. Swinger, who are just as deserving of this award as I am, my sister, my family, my line sisters, and my now guardian angels, my mother and father, my mother who taught for over 20 years and always reminded me on those days I would come home crying and just frustrated to never forget what it's like to be a teacher. And so I close by saying, teach social studies. I know that it's emotionally charged. It's what tears people apart, but it's also what brings us back together. It's in your face. It's controversial. I mean, we're literally for the culture. It's social studies, real life right now, and I will continue to go hard for it. Thank you for this award. Good evening. My name is Charmin Johnson, and I'm assistant superintendent for Cluster D. I have supervised Ms. Hood Kirk for five years, and when I think of her, the following words come to mind. Innovative, passionate, caring, selfless, resourceful, and above all, a very deserving principal of the year. Ms. Hoodkirk serves as the principal of Fountain Elementary School that has a rich history and an even brighter future. When you walk the halls of Fountain Elementary School on any given day, you see students engaged in learning, answering and asking thoughtful questions, and teachers are well planned and are working diligently to ensure that students have the support and guidance needed to be successful. She and her staff engage with parents and advocate for their students. This behavior is common at Fountain because Ms. Hoodkirk models this behavior and expects others to follow her lead. 
She has also created a brand for herself by co-authoring a book, creating a social media hub where other principals around the world can learn from her and other leaders. She also does not shy away from participating in podcasts, leadership conferences, and principal forums, which allow her to share her level of expertise beyond the walls of Fountain Elementary. These over and beyond measures are common for Ms. Hood Kirk because she wants to always ensure that her students are placed in a position to thrive, perform at high levels, and be exposed to learning opportunities that will prepare them for graduation and life. Although Ms. Hood Kirk has many great achievements, I believe that her most profound accomplishment has been her ability to think positively through the challenges of life. As she has put her armor of faith and not fear and has served as an inspiration to others. It is an honor to work with such a wonderful leader who cares for others just as much as we care about her. Congratulations, Ms. Hood Kirk. I'm so proud of you. Hello, my name is Jamila Hood Kirk and I'm the proud principal of Fountain Elementary School home of the Bears. Thank you for providing me with this distinct honor to represent my family, the Fountain Elementary School community, my colleagues, and this district. I am deeply honored and grateful to accept this recognition. When I decided to take the leap of faith to extend my passion for education to school leadership, I had no idea what my leadership journey would entail. What a journey this has been to impact thousands of students, families, and educators. As a school leader, I have always strived to impact my students in such a way that it changes the trajectory of their success as productive citizens in our communities. Our students deserve the best, education that will allow them to leverage their own dreams and leaps of faith. There is an African philosophy of Mbutu. I am because we are and because we are, therefore I am. Today I stand on the shoulders of my district, schools, staff, families, and community. My success is not my success alone. Thank you to my family for their continued love and support. Thank you to my assistant principal, Dr. Nicole Hinton, and my Fountain community for trusting and supporting my leadership for the past 15 years. Thank you to my coach and mentor, Dennis McKeezy, for always pushing me further and not allowing me to settle for no. Thank you to our distinguished superintendent, Dr. Morcise Beasley, and the core cabinet for encouraging my colleagues and I to reach beyond the invisible walls of our community to leverage what is fundamentally right for our scholars. And finally, to my colleagues and my area superintendent, Mrs. Charman Johnson, thank you for all of the support you have poured into my journey, personally and professionally, and allowing me to be unapologetic about who I am, who I do it for, and how I do it for our scholars. I am because we are, and because we are, therefore I am. Good evening. I am Kimberly Barnett, principal of Jonesboro Middle School. And it is my privilege and honor to pay tribute to a member of our Mighty Bears family as this year's Clayton County Public Schools Teacher of the Year. As you are all aware, teaching during a pandemic presents obstacles that are unprecedented. Like so many of our educators, our honoree this year accepted the challenge and is committed to breaking through barriers. She is a product of Clayton County Public Schools and a second generation Clayton County Public School educator. Ms. Shara Koretic exhibits the traits that exemplify best practices in the classroom. She's an eighth grade social studies teacher and demonstrates a passion for helping students and teachers grow by igniting their curiosity as well as fostering a love of learning. She continually goes above and beyond the call of duty. She's a role model, the technology liaison, assessment lead, a TAP mentor, and founder of Jonesboro Middle School's new teacher academy. She facilitates professional development for all faculty and staff in various areas, is a team player, and consistently seizes opportunities for personal growth. I wish I had more time to list all of Ms. Reddick's contributions and accolades as an educator. They go on and on. She is worthy of this award, and it is my pleasure to congratulate and introduce to you Ms. Sherika Reddick, Clayton County Public Schools 2021 Teacher of the Year.
Hello, my name is Sherika Reddick of Jonesboro Middle School. I am honored and humbled to have been chosen to represent the entire Clayton County Public Schools family as your District Teacher of the Year. Let me take this moment to honor those who sacrifice each and every day for the health and safety of all during these unprecedented times. I stand on the shoulders of dynamic educators who encourage and impart me to this day. To the entire Jonesboro Middle School administration team, past and present, I thank you. To Mr. Justin Hill, my eighth grade history teacher, whose pedagogical approach I model to this day, I thank you. To Ms. Kimberly Smith and all my colleagues throughout the years who have supported and held me accountable, I thank you. And to my mom, Ms. Sharon Reddick, whom I've watched my entire life commit to being the most exceptional educator and loving mother, having over 41 years in education and 27 of those years spent at the Jonesboro Middle School, I salute you. Because of you, I am. Initially, I began pursuing a different career path, but God had other plans for me. I had to follow my calling, so I came home. As a product of Brown Elementary, Jonesboro Middle School, and Jonesboro High School, I am Clayton County. As educators, we have an incredible opportunity to inspire young lives. We are seen many times as advisors, counselors, and motivators who our students will always remember. How will your students remember you? I charge you with three things. Extend grace to one another, remember your why, and be the light. Thank you.
Greetings. I'm Jesse Gorey, the proud chair of the Clayton County Board of Education representing District 3. It is an honor to be selected as the best of the best, a shining superstar of Clayton County Public Schools. Congratulations on attaining that distinction in all of your hard work. It is our pleasure to honor you tonight at this Employee of the Year celebration. Toria Williams, and I represent District 4 on the Clayton County School Board. And I'd like to congratulate all the honorees and commend them on all their hard work. We appreciate you and thank you. Hi, my name is Benjamin Straker, and I'm your Vice Chair and District 9 School Board member. We'd like to recognize and congratulate Ms. Regina Wallace of the K-12 Social Studies Department of Curriculum, Instruction, and Assessment for Support Leader of the Year. Congratulations, Regina. Keep up the hard work and keep that passion for our children. We appreciate you. Good evening. My name is Mark Christmas, District 2 School Board member. We'd like to congratulate Sharika Reddick uh, from Jonesboro Middle School for being the Teacher of the Year on behalf of all the board members. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Joy Tellis Cooper, District 8 School Board, and I would like to congratulate our Support Professional Certified of the Year, Ms. Clarice Frazier. She is our Title I Academic Coach at Charles Drew High School. Congratulations on this well-deserved. Hello, this is Mary Baker from the Board of Education, District 6, and I just wanted to take a moment to congratulate each and every one of our winners of this award you have gone above and beyond in a time of craziness and challenges. And I want to take a moment to thank you again. Um, I hope you enjoy this evening and I wish I was there to be with you. Hello, I am Dr. D. Haney and I want to say congratulations to all of our honorees. I am so excited. I am so elated to celebrate with you for what you have demonstrated. You have shown such commitment such sacrifice and dedication to our students, our staff, our district, and our community. I can't express it enough, but I just want to come in and say congratulations. Keep up the good work that you're doing because it does not go unnoticed. Again, I am Dr. D and I'm so excited to share with you and just commend you for what you're doing. Talk to you soon, keep up the good work. Greetings, I am Sabrina Hill, school board member for District 7. A heartfelt congratulations to each of you. Teacher of the Year, Ms. Rhetoric. Principal of the Year, Ms. Hud Kurt. Support Leader of the Year, Ms. Wallace. Support Professional, Ms. Frazier. Support Professional for Student Engagement, Ms. Stewart. Thank each of you for your extraordinary work that you do. You are appreciated and your services are invaluable. As we mentioned before, all of our honorees tonight will receive gifts to commemorate this great honor. Our next presentation for our overall winner is from one of our platinum sponsors, the Hearth Jones Company. Here representing the Hearth Jones Company is Rick Shrewsbury. Good evening. This is Rick Shrewsbury with the Hearth Jones Company. And for over 25 years, I have presented a very special ring to the Clayton County Teacher of the Year. Several years ago, we added the principal of the year and also added support leaders. I am very proud to continue this tradition and it is all in memory of my mother who taught for many years in Troop County here in the state of Georgia. Congratulations to all of our winners and I just wanna say thank you to everyone who teaches our children and leads them to the future. Thank you, Mr. Shrewsbury for those generous gifts. At this time, it is our pleasure to introduce to you the Honorable Rhonda Burno, State Representative for District 77, who will make a special presentation on behalf of the Clayton County Legislative Delegation to our overall winners. Hello, I am State Representative Rhonda Burno, District 77. Congratulations to Clayton County Public Schools Teacher of the Year, Principal of the Year, Classified and Certified Support Specialist of the Year. It is my honor to let you know that your names were called yesterday on the Georgia House of Representatives floor. You are now a part of Georgia history. As a retiree from the Clayton County Public Schools, I want to thank you for your dedication to our students and to our parents. 
Teaching is a calling. Education is of great value to all. Thank you for answering the call. Hello, my name is Yasmin Neal. I'm the state representative for District 74 out of Clayton County. I want to take a moment to say congratulations to the honorees. Your hard work and dedication is much appreciated. Your honor is well-deserved. Hello, this is Representative Deborah Baysmore, and I just wanted to thank you so very much for all you do each and every day. Congratulations to you. Well-deserved. As we near the end of the broadcast, we want to say thank you again to our judges and to all of our esteemed sponsors. Thanks to the Professional Learning Department and the Communications Department for their collaboration to produce this broadcast. A special thanks is given to our superintendent, Dr. Morsis J. Beasley, for his support. We will now have closing remarks by Dr. Gloria Duncan, Director of Professional Learning. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, in order to organize a production of this nature, it takes a village to do that. And we want to thank all of our partners who worked with us in making this program a success tonight. Being the first year virtually, we want to thank our communications and public relations department for all the work they did in making sure everything flowed very smoothly. And we'd also like to thank our sponsors, both new and those who've worked with us for years, who come through for us every time and make this a wonderful experience for everyone. We have a new member of our team who has adopted us and has been with us, I believe this is her fourth year. And we would like to give a special thanks to the fabulous Mrs. Monica Pearson, who has been with us every year to moderate the show. And thank you so much, Ms. Pearson. And we believe in you and think you are absolutely fabulous. We would also like to thank our wonderful Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Ralph Simpson, who brings life and light and lights us all up and keeps us interested and, and laughing throughout the entire presentation. So thank you, Dr. Simpson, for your dedication to this event, and we appreciate you so much and are so glad to have you with us here again tonight. Thank you, Dr. Simpson. We would like to thank our fabulous board members for all of their support and hard work and we'd also like to thank the Clayton County delegation for all their proclamations and all their support of all that we do in Clayton County Schools every year. We'd also like to thank the Clayton County Foundation for all of the support that they give us throughout the year. We would like to thank our fabulous superintendent for all of his support of this work he has been behind us and pushing us and has made this a very successful occasion every year. Thank you so much, Dr. Beasley. We give you a round of applause. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Professional Learning Center, our department. Thank you, and I love you all. I want to make sure that I say that. To all of you who were able to watch us tonight, we're just thrilled. In fact, we think that we've even touched more people tonight than usual through YouTube. But what this proves tonight with our community and our business partners and all of those who have made this a success is that teamwork, in fact, does make the dream work. Thank you for being here with us so much. And to all of you, have a wonderful, safe, and healthy evening. And I'd like to say to all a special good night and thank you all.